the city of Los Angeles, the city of angels, the city of dreams for many. Many people flock here year after year trying to get their dreams attained. Some don't make it out. Murder in Hollywood. That pretty much sums up L.A. Let's take the story of a young girl from Canada, a student in fact, Elisa Lamb, here visiting Los Angeles on her way to Santa Cruz, California. She didn't make it. She stayed at the Cecil Hotel and never left. Damn! Nobody knows what happened. Oh, come on. You're a detective. You know a little bit, don't you? There's all of that. So we know that she's from Canada. Okay. We know that she's a student. Okay. We know that she was visiting LA. She was on her way to Santa Cruz. I, I know all that. This was in January 2013. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, well, it's a way to start the year, let me tell you. Right, right. Um, and we know that they found her body due to complaints of the low water pressure in the hotel. Mm -hmm. And it tasted odd. Just, so know. wait a minute. They were tasting this woman's body? Was yeah. she liquefied in well, the water she, supply? she was found in the water tanks. Oh, naked. Naked. De decomposing. In the water tank. In the water tank. It's not easy to get in the water tank. It's not. God damn it. It's not, but she got in there. And her clothing was in there too. So she got naked. She's skinny dipped. So wait a minute. The clothes were also in the water tank. Yeah. So that means she probably got naked inside the water tank. That is a possibility. It wasn't a skinny dip, because usually when you're skinny dip, you're already naked. The clothes are already on dry land, you That's hop right. into the water. That's very but true. But in this case, she got in the water first, then got naked. Who's doing that? I'm not sure. I mean, apparently Elisa is. I heard Canadians are a little different. A little bit. But I didn't know they got in the water first, then took off the clothes. Well, I mean, there's no saying that she did it. So you trying to say somebody got in the water tank with her, took off her clothes while in the water tank together? Or. And then just left her there to drink? Listen to this. Or they killed her. They took off her clothes, they threw her in the water tank, and they didn't know what to do with her clothing, so they're like, let's throw it in there. But why the clothing removed? Because... Were there signs of rape? Oh, I never thought of that. God, poor girl. All right, so let's start with what we know. Okay. Let's we know go. that the Cecil Hotel used to be a uh, brothel. Who did it now? Wait, that's not what it's called. What is it called when a bunch of people stay in one room? Oh, a hostel. I mean, it could also completely be a completely different place. <laughs> I've been to a brothel. I need you to get these facts together. Now. Okay, anyways, um, a hostel. A hostel. So, she had roommates. Okay. But she had to be moved to her own room mm -hmm. because she got complaints. Uh, her roommates were complaining about her that she was a little off or whatever she made. She made, she a little bit of wacky. Right? So she got her own room uh -huh. and where she stood. And apparently she was, you know, she went sightseeing and she did stuff like that. Mm -hmm. She was having a good time. She was living her best life. Right. And, but, cool. and the last person to see her live was an employee okay. of the Cecil Hotel. Okay. Okay. And, um, and the last time we all seen her alive was mm -hmm. in a surveillance camera that was taken within the elevator. Well, she looks a little wacky. She looks a little crazy, what I'm not she sure. Doing? She was just, you know, the way she was pressing the button, she pressed all the buttons in the hotel. Yeah, who the, the hell is pressing all the buttons? In the hotel elevator, can you believe that? Yeah, I had a lot of time when your hands be right. pressing all the buttons. Unless she was going to the next floor and she was just gonna let it go all up and down. That's every goddamn floor. I know, and then what you see in the surveillance camera is you do see the elevator malfunction, but then after that, she starts acting a little a little crazier, okay, as if somebody's she... out there chasing her. Oh, so, so she looked panicked. She, she looked, peeking out. She looked insane. She First of all, when you're running from somebody, you never get in the elevator. I don't understand it. It's got to be a stairs. You take the stairs. It's got to be stairs. Because the door could just shut down on you at any moment. You I can't know. depend on that. You know, you really know your onions. You're and right. And all the killer got to do is reach in, the door opens back up, the party's back on. That's true. That's why you're alive. I can't stand elevator. So, she was acting real crazy. She was doing crazy things with her hands. She mm -hmm. was talking to somebody outside. Okay. But you never see who she's, who talking, she's to. talking to. God damn it. So Which, they knew about the surveillance camera. They were smart enough to stay off the cameras. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Which could be a suspect. Mm. Okay, so who do we think did it? Mm. I mean, I have a few ideas. Who you got? Okay, so what I'm thinking is it could be one of her old roommates. 
You okay. know what I mean? Because we don't really know who she stood with. That's true. And okay. from what I know, is that there was a lot of homeless people from Skid Row that were staying at the Cecil Hotel, so it could have been one of them. They could have okay. been one. Of, they could have been one of her hotel uh, roommates or whatever. So, so homeless people were her roommates. Can you imagine? I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess you can. The homeless. There's, there's levels to homeless. Mm -hmm. You could be completely just utterly filthy, yeah. or you could just be, you know, down on hard times. You ran away from home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who hasn't slept outside? You're right. I went camping once. That was fun. Yeah, you know, we were all homeless when you go camping. Right. But honestly, I think it might have been paranormal. Oh, God damn. Listen to me. Listen to me. Now, you see here, do you know who this is? That's the night stalker. Yes, Richard Ramirez. Uh -huh. Okay. So, he died shortly before she died. Before, and... The rumor is that he actually stood in the hotel a few times during that. his murders. And the reason he stood there was because there were so many crazy people just staying in the hotel and, you know, Skid Row's just in, in a bunch of insane people. So he could just walk right through and nobody would even bat an eye. Okay. So you think it was a guy I can't arrest a ghost? Oh my god, you're just such uh, you're such we, a non we, we just can't do we can't bring the, we can't bring that back. Well to the sometimes families. well you could do a little seance, you could burn a little sage, you know what I mean? And then if it stops, boom, I was correct. I solve cases. I'm not a paranormal detective. Okay, well then. What else you get? What's the third one? Give me, give me something like a fifth. Elisa Lamb. She could be a suspect. She could have done Wait, stuff in her herself. own death. And she could have done it herself. So you think suicide? A suicide. And suicide. that's the one everybody's banking on. Yeah. But why the weird behavior before the suicide? Well, she is. A little kooky. I mean, you, just because you're bipolar don't mean you're crazy. And the crazy is the easy right on. See, this is why you're the detective and I'm not. Here's the thing about the suicide, all right? So, they say she was found in a locked area, mm -hmm. okay? So that means, I don't know how she got access to the roof. Those doors are locked. You got to be an employee to get through those doors. Now, did the employee help her get through those doors? I don't know. Well, did she take the fire escape to get... The, you get access to the roof, because they say if you take the fire escape, it's easy access to the roof. Then, okay, she gets in the water tank. Okay, you gotta climb in there, and then you gotta get in, you know, get naked. Now, if she got naked before, why would you put the clothes in the water? Nobody's doing that. Like, if you're gonna, if you're gonna skinny dip, you leave the clothes outside, because once you come to your senses and you wanna dry off, you wanna put on some dry clothes. Now, she got in, then removed the clothes. She had to close the lid on the water cooler. You gotta reach back out. First of all, you gotta take your clothes off. You gotta reach back out, close the lid on yourself. Oh. It just seems a little bit too much, man. If you wanna kill yourself, just jump off the fire escape. But I wanna, I wanna get in the water tank, dressed, and then take the clothes off for the... Do I wanna become one with birth again? Maybe that's what it was. She was going back to birth. It could have been. You know, we're born naked inside a water cooler, which is your mom's. You're right. Your mom's is the water cooler. You're in there butt-ass naked in the fluid. Or it could have been the birth of a new ghost. Lisa Lamb could Why be... We always go back to I, I just, I, I honestly believe it. The ghosts don't pay the bills for this office. Ghosts well, maybe not maybe we should salary. maybe we should be paranormal investigators. Maybe we'd I, be they dead make, broke out. No, they make they make good money. How do you know? I I've, I've seen a few. Okay. All right. So, it's unsolved. All right, at least the lamb talk to us. I need some real suspects though. No ghosts. Give me something I can feel. Something I can sink my teeth into. Okay. So hear me out on this. It's not ghosts. Okay. Thank you. But it's kind of zombie like. Because it's Skid Row. They're, they're, they're you know, they're a little zombie-ish. Not everybody. Well, you've, but you, I get it. You know what I mean? They're yeah. a little It's little definitely slow. the dawn of the day. Yeah, the day it's very, day. it's very creepy. Yeah. So, from what I heard, mm -hmm. is that they were going to make this Cecil Hotel into this fancy schmancy little hotel in downtown L.A. You know how they do real mm -hmm. pinky up individuals. Right. I think they're better than everybody. They really do. Yeah. I don't like it. Anyway, so, 
what they were going to do was they were going to make it fancy and they were going to kick out all the people from Skid Row that were staying there. Now, mind you, this is a place that they were able to stay when it was cold outside. They wanted a bed and stuff like that. And now they were no longer going to be able to stay there. So what they, you know, what I think they try to do, and they try to make a little spectacle. So they killed her to scare off the renovation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because like I said, there was a bunch of deaths there to begin with. Nobody wants to stay at the death hotel. You know what I mean? Right. So I believe they killed her off to stop the renovation. And now and to this day, to this day, People from Skid Row are still uh, staying at the Cecil Hotel. Like, Is that right? I believe. I'm not really sure. I just probably made You just that. made it up. But I feel like it. I feel like it. I feel it in my soul. In my soul. I like that theory. Mm hmm You know, keep the prices low. Exactly. Because once you renovate, you out of there. Exactly. They're going to get real bougie. With the... Downtown L.A., 2800 for a one-bedroom right out the gate. Fancy. So you like, man. And this poor girl had to pay the price so they could just stay in this little raggedy building. Poor sweetheart. God damn it. Only she knows what happened. It's true. Duh. So what we can do after after we get out of here, you can come back to my place. I got some alcohol for you. We could have a little seance so we could ask her. Should I be drunk during the seance? I'm not really sure, but you should be drunk when you're at my house. Right. You know what I mean? And I guess this one remains a mystery. Lisa Lamb, what really happened to this young girl? Was it suicide or was it murder? Let's get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. No ghosts, though. Don't oh. give me that crap.